the Beretta 92S. Let's check it out. The Beretta 92 was designed in 1972, Beretta being one of the oldest firearm manufacturers in the world still in existence. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Beretta 92S, and uh, this is the second model from the regular standard Beretta 92. These are surplus pistols that are coming in from Italy from police trade-ins. Uh, and I got this one from Classic Firearms, and many of you saw the um, warehouse tour that I did of classic firearms and the cases and crates of these pistols. There's a lot of them. Many of them are in new condition, which this one to me uh, was unfired before I got it. Now, one of the things I will say about imported or surplus firearms is guys, they come into the country and they're very reasonable. This, I believe they start out at like $299 for a Beretta 92. That's really a great price. But once supply dries up, and it will, these guns will go up in value considerably. The Beretta 92S, uh, this is an upgrade from the original Beretta 92. And one of the big things that was changed was the safety. Uh, the original 92s had a frame-mounted safety. Uh, in fact, the Taurus PT-92 and PT-99 have that same type safety right here on the frame. They moved it up to the slide and uh, also added the decocker. Uh, these pistols are from the Italian police and military. They are classic designs, and the 92 is such a smooth shooting firearm. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and drop the magazine. And one of the things you're going to notice is right here at the bottom, it has the heel type magazine. Now, one of the things about that is, you know, American shooters typically, we were so used to that magazine release right here. But here, you're going to bring your hand down, and it actually captures the magazine. So there are some advantages to that. But if you're just going to drop your magazine and, and enter a fresh one, uh, it's a little bit more of a challenge and really more for training. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and check to make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. Uh, first thing I really want to show is how slick. <laughs> the action on the Beretta 92s is really smooth. Uh, and then we have it in the uh, the hammers in the cock position. Just bring it down, and that decocks the gun. One thing is though is now you have a dead trigger, so that's also a safety. Uh, so to fire the pistol, you're going to need to disengage your safety, and then you can fire without any trouble. Now I'm not going to get into a lot of the details about the 92 because I mean the Beretta 92 has been around for a long time. In fact, obviously served with the U.S. military since 1985. But that is an upgraded model the Beretta 92FS. Uh, one of the things that has changed with the Beretta from this standard S model, of course, beside the fact that the magazine release is down here, uh, you have a rounded off trigger guard. It wasn't until the U.S. military asked for a squared off trigger guard that they went with that. Uh, and so this has just a smooth, no serrations, Another thing that the U.S. military wanted was a little bit of a lip that comes down. So any of your later models will have just a slight uh, lip that comes down. It just gets the gun a little bit tighter in the hand. Now on the 92, there are no serrations on the front strap or the back strap. It's just smooth. Uh, but it does have kind of a matte feel to it, and it doesn't feel that way when it's in your hand. It doesn't feel like it's loose. Uh, of course, obviously, with the serrations, it's going to add a little bit more grippability to it. Now, being a double single action means that uh, when you first rack the slide, the hammer will be in the rear position. Uh, so that is your single action. Uh, if you decock the pistol and the hammer's down, you can still fire it with the safety off, and it is a heavy but yet very smooth pull. 
uh, single action, a little take up, and then a nice snap. The other thing that's different is the sights. Uh, and if you'll notice, these sights are very low profile. They're black. And to be honest with you, they can be a little difficult to pick up. Uh, and unfortunately, at the front here, this sight is milled into the slide. Uh, so unless you have a gunsmith add a different sight to it, you're pretty much stuck with these low profile sights. Uh, this was designed as a military pistol, and so that's one of the reasons why they went with the low pro sights. Um, they upgraded that with later models with sights that were a little bit higher. One thing too is with the Beretta 92S, you have your magazine release cut here. On your standard Beretta magazines, you can see that there is no cut here. In fact, there's a cut here for the magazine release, and on the S model magazines, it doesn't have that. Now, Beretta continued to make magazines with both cuts for a long time, uh, but uh, this one obviously is an, an old surplus U.S. military magazine, and it doesn't have it. So it's also been a long time that they've been using just this cut. Uh, you can get these magazines. In fact, I know I got this at Classic Firearms, and they have Beretta S magazines available. It is 15 in one. It does come with only one magazine. Now here I have a Beretta 92F, and uh, you can see that it does have the square trigger guard. It does have this part that kind of comes out a little bit, but it does retain the decocker and safety at the top. Uh, then of course the sights. Now here we've had upgraded sights on this. And I believe these are Wilson combat sights. In fact, I've added a bunch of Wilson accessories including the safety and the grips and an enlarged magazine release. But you can see the magazine releases here. Uh, the sights are better. And again, uh, it does have serrations on the front and back strap. Then here we have the M9A3, which is Beretta's latest version. Of course, these were submitted into the U.S. military trials. Uh, they weren't even accepted because, really, the U.S. military was looking to go a different direction. Uh, but this is an excellent pistol. I did a full review on this one. It comes in this uh, kind of a coyote desert color and uh, has a, an extended barrel, which has a thread protector here so you can attach suppressors or muzzle brakes or whatever you want to and it does come with nice night sights and these are three dot uh, ambidextrous safety controls as well so uh, this is a really exceptional handgun and then you have your serrations that are checkered and this is even better than the straight linear serrations on the 92F uh, it just gives you a really good solid feel to it also, it does have the accessory rail or the Picatinny rail. Now, one of the other things about the Model S is that it does not have a firing pin block safety. Uh, one of the things that started with the 92F is firing, that stands for firing pin block. So, you'll know that this one is, does have it, and of course, the M9A3 has it as well. The magazines are 15 in one. Uh, one of the things that's really nice about this open slide design is it keeps from stovepipes. I mean, there's no place for the slide to catch. So it's a little bit more reliable than your typical pistol. Uh, so it just gives it that little advantage. Another thing is, this is not the Browning tiltless barrel design. It is a straight design barrel and it stays in that stationary position when it's fired. Uh, with your Browning linkless designs and most of your polymer frame pistols, it has that tilt barrel. I want to thank Freedom Munitions for supplying the 9mm ammo. And also, if you don't have a Lula loader, <laughs> you need one. These are awesome. Freedom Munitions gives a 5% discount if you use Suits00 at checkout. To disassemble the firearm, engage your slide stop. Then we have our takedown lever here. At the back, you have a small button. You just press it and then pull down. And then you can release your slide stop and then the slide just comes right off. You don't have to pull the trigger. Uh, here we have a metal guide rod with guide rod spring. And then we have our barrel. You have to pull down on the locking block to get the barrel out. 
This system was inspired by the Walther P38, uh, which had that open slide design as well, and this barrel locking system is very similar. To remove the locking block, just bring it down and you can pull it out as well. And here we have the pistol completely field stripped. Now to reassemble, take your locking block and slide it back into the barrel. Uh, it's better to push back the little pin that holds this into place. It's a little tricky, there it goes. Now we're gonna slide it back into our slide. Bring in our recoil spring and guide rod. Back onto the frame, gauge your slide stop, bring your lever down, release your slide. And we're back in business. Now while this is definitely an earlier model and there have been some upgrades to the others, this is still an excellent shooting gun. If you've really been looking for a Beretta 92 and you just don't really want to spend $600, this is a great option. Uh, it fires just like your standard Beretta. It has all the same features. Uh, just a little different, of course, with the Hill style mag release. But a um, great shooting gun, and the price is right. And again, I want to thank Ben and the guys at Classic Firearms uh, for sending the pistol for this test and evaluation. And uh, guys, if you're looking for a Beretta 92, you know, now is the time to grab one while these surplus trade-ins are coming in. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. These are designed really close to the Walther. Uh, these are really designed close to the Walther. What is that? Walther what? You've got to get it just right. And we're going to take all week to do it. Okay. Uh, guys, it's always cool to find really unusual. Okay. This has been the service side arm for almost 40 years. For over 30 years, the Beretta 92 or the M9 has been the U.S. service pistol, and it's been a great pistol. You know, it's been great. It's been just wonderful. It's been absolutely 